Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Let's talk about biting off more than we can chew and why I am dropping one of my happy planners for 2022. Okay, if you're new to my channel, this is my dog, Bumble. She joins us sometimes in the videos. Sometimes she makes noise. Sometimes she just shows up. She's a little tired right now. Isn't <laughs> she a cutie? <laughs> um, so here's the thing. In the beginning of 2022, I made a video and it was called my planner lineup. And it was like how I'm using five happy planners for 2022. Everybody loves those videos. They get probably the most views of any of my videos, those planner lineup, because everyone likes to know how we're using different planners. So last year I only used my big happy planner catch all and my classic happy planner creative journal. And it worked really well and a daily planner. It worked really well. And then that's in addition to like my memory journal and stuff like that, which is, is separate in my mind. I'm talking like weekly planners, right? And then um, this year I thought with everything going on in my life, I thought I need a wellness planner because I watched these videos with people setting up wellness planners and everything they're using them for. And I thought that was really cool. And uh, it gave me some really good ideas of things that I could track in my life. And I thought it would be really useful for me. I still think it can be really, really useful. However, we are in the first week in February, at least I am when I'm filming this. And it's become for me, that planner has become like a chore and I never ever want to feel like I don't want to use my planner. And that planner was starting to feel that way for me. So this is the planner in question. It looks like this. It's a really cute planner. It's a color block layout and um, I've never used a color block before, but I, I think it's a good idea. I still think color block layout is good because you can categorize stuff. And you know, this is what it looks like. And I had five different categories. I had like an exercise category, a symptom tracker, food and water, um, social, and then three things that made me happy. And then three accomplishments for every day. I think that's a great idea. But what I was finding was days would go by and I wouldn't look at it. I'd forget to look at it. Um, then I got COVID and everything was just kind of pushed aside. And then when afterwards, when I started getting better and got back into this planner, I just felt like it was making me feel obligated and I never want to feel that way. So I decided to drop it. Now I want to give you guys permission. If you started a planner in 2022 and it's not working for you, or you feel like you're just overwhelmed with the number of planners you have, which is how I was feeling. I give you permission to just ditch it, just ditch it. <laughs> um, if I can do it in front of thousands of people, you can certainly do it when no one's telling you not to. Um, I hesitated making this video because I made such a big deal. Like, yeah, I'm using this. And then, you know, what is it like three, four weeks later and I'm not using it, but I thought I'd put it out there just because like, I feel like some people think that, you know, the planners on YouTube that we have it all together and that we are like these amazing people who have all this time in our day to write and all of our planners. And, you know, it's not necessarily true. And I thought maybe it would be relatable for you guys to like know that it's okay if you have less, you know, planners, if you don't track as much, like don't feel like you have to do it. If it's something that is causing you stress, I give you permission to drop it. Now, what I could have done is faked it. <laughs> I could have gone every week at the end of the week and just wrote nonsense in it. You know what I mean? And posted it online. Like here's the planner I'm using. But the problem with social media is that it is at times just so contrived. And I just, I feel like it's too perfect. And I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be the person who, you know, seems inaccessible. I don't want to be the person who, you know, people look at what I'm doing online and think, wow, she's got it all together. Look at everything she's doing. Because honestly, I do not have it all together. <laughs> I don't have it all together. And 
I don't think any of us really, really do. So anyway, let me just show you the planner real quick and show you why I decided to drop it. So let me just mention, if you're someone who has like 10 different planners for different parts of your life and it is working for you, then by all means, keep using your planners. You know, you do you, I always say that, and it really is true. It's whatever works for you. It's whatever you wanna do. I don't even care if you just wanna decorate it and not even write in it. Like, it is your planner and just do what you want, you know? Um, it's a hobby, but it's also, you know, functional, keeping track of your life, that type of thing. And if it's helping you, do it. But here's why I stopped using it. So first of all, as far as like this layout, I'm not like, okay, I am a fan of it as far as functional purposes. I'm not a fan of how it looks. I don't like like the, I wish that it was just white with like lines or something. And I don't really like the gray sh shaded areas. That being said, it is actually better than, you know, when it was color shaded areas, but Still, I'm not a fan of that. Um, but the main reason is I just couldn't keep up with it. So like I said, I have five categories. I have move, I have food, symptoms, social, happy, accomplished, right? I just couldn't remember to use it. And I know that sounds silly because I do remember to use my other planners, but I felt like I was kind of putting it aside and not really like looking at it. And then I would remember four days later and I would think, oh no, oh, I gotta fill out that planner because I need to show people at the end of the month that I've used this planner. And it became something that was like, I have to show people that I'm using it rather than I am actually using it and enjoying it. So I stopped. Also, that being said, like I feel like this layout is really hard to decorate. Here's an example, I just like threw it together. I also wanted to show you, you can decorate it and show you how to decorate it. I guess I don't like it when I can't put decoration in the middle. I could, but then I wouldn't have room to write because this is like a classic size. So it's kind of small. And so this is when I stopped, like January 17th. So I don't like not having decoration there because I'm a decorative planner <laughs> and I'm so used to like the big, planner um, where I have like tons of room to add lots of stickers and I felt like this is just was boring me a little bit I don't know so what I thought I would do and I talked about this a little bit in my flip through I don't know if I posted that already or if I posted this first I think you might have seen that already but what I decided to do was take some of this information and work it into my other planners so here is my um, my catch-all planner. This is my big and this is where I put like everything in, right? So I thought what I could do maybe is track like some of my symptoms in here. So I could either do like a daily box for symptom tracking or I can kind of write it in when things kind of flare up, right? And then maybe, you know, do a summary at the end of the week or something like that. I'm considering something of that nature, but I also think I might track it digitally on my phone because I just feel like it's easier for me because I'm sitting on the couch. I'm like, oh my gosh, my neck is aching. Let me just jot that down. Like what happened today and why is that true? So I may or may not put it in this planner. I don't know. I do track gratitude in this planner. So I do love the idea of, you know, three things that made me happy and three accomplishments every day. But I also have my creative journal. So let me show you that. Here it is. And so I write all over it, like everywhere, right? Um, and so what I could po probably do is just put a couple of boxes on the day or even one box. I could put like a box down like on each day and track those things in here. I think that is totally doable. I would have, you know, enough room for that. So I think I might do that. And then as far as the rest of it, exercise, food and water, like I found that tracking it was becoming like, I don't know. Well, first of all, I was sick, you know, when I was doing this, like partly, but also I felt like, I don't know. I just felt like on the days that I didn't work out, which was every day, <laughs> and the days that I wasn't eating right, which is almost every day, I felt like it was just a reminder of how I'm screwing up. 
I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I guess, I don't know if this is like enough for a full video, but I just kind of wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about it a little bit because I am really a fan of transparency in my on my channel. I feel like I need to be honest and, and I just don't think that me coming on here and pretending that I was using it and putting down stickers, like let's decorate this planner. I feel like it wasn't, you know, what I wanted to do. And I wanted to just be honest and put it out there. And again, with the hopes that maybe it will resonate with someone who is feeling that way about one of their planners or even all of their planners, you know, um, if it's bringing you stress, if it's adding stress to your life, instead of taking stress away, it, it isn't serving you. So this was adding stress to my life and not serving me well. So that is why I'm taking it away. Now, that being said, things might change in 2022. I, like I said, I think it's a great idea, but right now my life is very chaotic and overwhelming. And I think that I just couldn't do it right now. That's not to say that I will never do it again. And maybe next year for 2023, I might decide, hey, I think now my life is, you know, more settled. I can add that planner back in. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to feel that way, but for now, I'm just feeling like, nope, cannot do it. I'm going to put this on the shelf and just be done with it for now. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you at all. And if you have a planner that you're feeling stressed about that maybe you want to drop. Also, let me know in the comments if you still want to see me decorate a color block layout because I can come on here and do like a mock layout. You know what I mean? I do that once in a while for like the mini happy planner. I could certainly come on and every once in a while decorate the color block layout for you for those of you who are struggling trying to come up with ideas for this. Um, of course, I'm telling you this while this is like an undated, I mean, not undated, like undecorated one, but you know, just to give you some suggestions on how to decorate yourself, I could certainly do that. So let me know. And um, I hope you guys have a good day and enjoy this little video. I will talk to you later. Bye.